the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe took its fight against the oil industry to the United Nations. Chairman Dave Archambault told the Human Rights Council in Geneva that the controversial oil pipeline threatens the rights of Native American people. While we have gone to the court in the United States, our courts have failed to protect our sovereign rights, our sacred places, and our water. We call upon the Human Rights Council and all members, all member states to condemn the destruction of our sacred places and to support our nation's efforts to ensure that our sovereign rights are respected. The Dakota Access Pipeline is a partly built $3.7 billion project that would carry half a million barrels of oil per day beneath the Missouri River, just upstream from a Native American reservation. The tribe set up a protest camp and sued to stop construction, saying a spill would pollute its water and construction would desecrate sacred prayer sites. <laughs> Two weeks ago, it won a rare victory against the oil industry when the federal government decided to block construction of the pipeline. North Dakota's governor says he hopes it'll restart soon. Tribal leaders fear the worst. The United States has our laws and pipelines know how to comply with all the laws. But just because something's legal doesn't make, make it right. And so what we're trying to do is expose the wrongs and the flaws with the permitting process for pipelines. It's not clear how long the re-evaluation of the pipeline's environmental impact will take. Tribal leaders say they'll continue to oppose the project, which threatens their health and their way of life. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.